I found nine remote jobs that are actually always hiring and they're hiring right now and they're gonna be hiring into the future. Now, I know you guys love these videos, you always tell me, and I'm gonna be explaining to you whether or not this is a good fit for you, but I'm also gonna be telling you all about the job, some of the skills you need to get into it, the pros and cons of it, and I'm gonna be giving you actual companies that are hiring for these positions. So if you appreciate me doing that for you, go ahead, gently tap the like button, and let's jump into this one. Nice. So first on the list is going to be a data annotator. And this is an especially hot position right now because of the onset of AI. And your job is to systematically tag or label data for AI models. And this enables them to process and interpret information similar to how a human would. And this data could be anything from text and documents, objects and images, sequences and videos, or snippets of audio files. And being a data annotator is kind of like being a behind the scenes director, guiding AI actors through their scripts to ensure they deliver Oscar worthy performances. Here's somebody on Reddit who recently jumped on this trend and they said they were making 20 to $22 an hour and they've heard of others making $25 an hour. And overall AI data annotators are making about 68 to $126,000 a year. And this is a relatively easy job to get into. Now I'm friends with a lot of different business owners and just about everybody is integrating AI into their business. It's absolutely taking over. So getting into anything AI related Related is going to be really good right now and it's going to set you up for even better jobs in the future. Now one company that's almost always hiring for this type of job is RWS and they're focused on transforming content through translation, localization, and AI enabled technology. And when you go to their career page you can also check out their global opportunities. And there are other remote jobs there as well but I want to focus this opportunity specifically for data annotator. So you go ahead, you search data annotator and note that there are several different openings for this position in multiple languages and they have an opening for US residents as well. So go ahead and check that out. Now some of the skills you're going to need for this position are a really good understanding of linguistics. So not only do you have to understand English, but you have to kind of understand how AI thinks. You also need to have mm -hmm. good attention to detail and you need to have familiarity with basic computer skills. So some of the pros of this one are you get an opportunity to work with one of the most cutting edge technologies in the world, which is AI. Another pro is anyone can learn how to do this. It's a relatively easy entry point into AI. Some of the cons here are it can be potentially boring and tedious doing the same thing over over and over again. So overall, I'm gonna give this one an opportunity score of eight out of 10. The next one is going to be a clear voice writer. And this is basically a website where you can apply to get jobs for writing specifically. For instance, you can write in advertising and marketing, business, education, finance, healthcare, lifestyle and consumer, software and technology, travel and adventure, real estate, legal. And here's a really cool anecdote from Ann Adams, who's actually using clear voice and making over $100,000 a year. So the way you'd start here is of course, first learn how to write. You may already be good at writing on your own, if not, you can check out websites like Udemy, Coursera, and Skillshare because they have very affordable classes on how you can get good at writing. Now, something else you'd want to do is pick something that you're actually familiar with, right? So you don't want to pick a niche that you're not familiar with at all because you're going to write much, much better if you pick one of those niches that I mentioned before that you're actually familiar with and preferably pick one that you're passionate about. Second, you want to create a compelling portfolio showcasing your writing samples. Third, you want to sign up on Clear Voice. Fourth, you go to Clear Voice's website. Then you click Freelance for Us at the bottom of the landing page. And as you can see, Clear Voice offers some great benefits here. Next, you can use the built-in messaging platform where you can directly chat with your clients. And then after you post on there, Clear Voice will match you with clients who fit your criteria and you fit theirs. Then you want to set your rates and then you get started. So some of the pros of this are you don't need to waste time finding a client because Clear Voice will actually do it for you. Plus, you're going to be building your portfolio, which will allow you to charge even more in the future. Some of the cons are some of the Reddit posts do say that Clear Voice, especially if you're brand new, is going to take a while to help you find clients. But overall, Overall, I'm gonna give this one an opportunity score of seven out of 10. I think there's a lot of opportunity for content creation specifically. I think a lot of people focus their writing on non-social media content creation type writing. And I think that's where the biggest opportunity is. For instance, creating YouTube scripts. And by the way, if you wanna learn my secrets for how I grew this YouTube channel to multiple six figures per month, I am gonna be having a live training this week. It should be Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern time, but check the link down in the description in the pinned comment below, just in case we changed it. And if you're watching this in the future, you can still check the link because there's a good chance I'll be holding one in the future as well. But yeah, I'm going to go over my biggest secrets to how to grow and make money from YouTube with an emphasis on actually making money from YouTube, treating it like a business. So definitely don't miss out on it. Next is going to be an achieve test prep sales representative. Now I've said this many times before, I think that getting a sales job is probably something that everybody should do at least once in their life. But some sales jobs are better than others. Sales representatives in general make about 66 to $117,000 a year. 
And the best thing is you do not need a college degree or previous experience. Now to start, you can either search Google jobs for the term sales rep, or you can go to achieve test prep. So we'll just use that as an example. Next step is you'd go to careers at the bottom, then you'd click view open positions, then you'd click sales rep job, read the qualifications and requirements, then you'd click apply now, then you'd fill in the necessary information. And that's basically how it's done. So some of the pros of this one are it's one of the most valuable skills you could possibly learn. You're also working for a big company that makes a lot of money. And the con of this one is that it is a high pressure type of situation, you either deliver or you don't get paid. Now, one of the more chill types of sales jobs is known as a BDR or business development representative. And this is where you basically go out and you sort of hunt for leads. And so you're not the one who actually has to close the lead, you just have to find them. And a really good industry to work in is the technology industry. And I've actually interviewed a bunch of people on this channel that have been able to get jobs as business development representatives or BDRs. And they all did it through the company Course Careers, which does have a free training, which you can check out down in the description and the pinned comment below. So yeah, I love sales jobs. I'm going to give this one a nine nine out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a virtual receptionist for the company 24 seven VA. And it's a little bit of a weird spelling. So I'll put it up on the screen for you. And they hire for multiple different types of jobs, but I'm going to focus on virtual receptionist for this video. And this is basically where you'd be handling calls from either customers or potential people that you're going to be doing business with. And virtual receptionists make about 34 to $48,000 a year. And the way you'd start this is you'd apply to a website such as Indeed, FlexJobs or virtual vocations. For instance, you could apply to 24 seven VA, then you'd go and complete the application and submit your resume. And then of course, you'd optimize your portfolio and CV, you'd wait for their response, and then just make sure you build up your communication skills, your professionalism, your ability to multitask, and make sure that you have proficiency in using phone systems and computer software. And these are all skills that are relatively easy to acquire for 24 seven VA, for instance, you'd basically go to their website, you'd go to find remote jobs, then you'd click on open positions, then you'd click view openings, and then wait for a few seconds as it loads. Here, I can see a receptionist VA, you'd click on it, you take a look at the qualifications. And a secret here, guys, is a lot of the time it'll say, oh, you need to have two years of experience or whatever, just apply anyways. With these types of entry level jobs, they always say you need experience. But that's just to weed out the people who aren't confident. And it says here that they offer paid time off paid holidays and free training and upskilling. So if you like what you'd see, you'd applied for the position, you'd fill in the details and you're good. So some of the pros of this one is it's a relatively easy job to land one of the most common jobs out there. Some of the negatives are you can get on the phone with really angry customers and that can be a pain to deal with. But overall, I'm gonna give this one an opportunity score of 7.5 out of 10. Next is going to be a Git blend translator. So this of course would be for my folks out there that are multilingual. And basically you'd be translating things. Maybe you would be translating written or video or audio material. And you can see here translators make good money. In some cases you might actually not only be translating but you might also be voicing over the translations. And you can see voiceover artists make 52 to $97,000 a year. So if you can combine those two skills, you can make even more money. So the way you'd start here is of course, you'd have to be multilingual, you'd go to get blends website, you'd visit the freelancers button at the upper right corner. And if you see something that interests you click apply as a translator or voiceover artist as the case may be, then go through the application process, which usually takes a few minutes. So some of the pros of this one are if you are multilingual, this gives you a huge competitive advantage because not that many people are some of the cons are there are potential for project variability and the need for self discipline in managing remote work. But overall, I'm going to give this one an opportunity score of eight out of 10. Next is going to be a telephone interviewer. And this is basically somebody who gathers public opinion and they do this via phone surveys. And they typically work for polling firms, research companies, government organizations, or other private entities. And much like a detective collecting clues, you're gonna be piecing together public sentiment to help organizations make data-driven decisions. And telephone interviewers make about 34 to $50,000 a year. And it's a super easy job to get into that doesn't require a college degree or previous experience. So some of the skills you'd need here are excellent communication skills, basic computer literacy and the patience and adaptability to handle different situations. A lot of the time you're going to call people and they're not going to want to talk to you and you just have to be able to handle rejection. The way you get started here is first you need to get the equipment, then you need to find a job and apply for it. I'll put some up on the screen, you can check them out. And then you need to figure out what schedule is best for you. So overall, the pros of this one are going to be many companies are actually hiring for this position. And it's relatively easy to get into. And some of the cons are a lot of the people you call are not going to want to talk to you. So they're going to be kind of rude. And you just have to be able to deal with that. But overall, I'm going to give this one a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a next rep agent. And this is somebody who provides customer support, 
sales support, and technical support all in one. But they do it specifically for NextRep. Now, this is a super easy job to get into. It's also a little less boring than a typical customer support job. It makes about the same, but you're also going to get some technical experience as well as some sales experience. So yeah, I thought I'd put this one on the list. So you'd basically navigate to the NextRep website, you'd navigate to their careers section, then you'd follow the instructions to apply, which may include submitting your resume and completing an online application form. Here's how much you'd make in this position is just a normal customer service job. So some of the pros of this one are you can work many different schedules, it's pretty flexible, and it's relatively easy to get into. Some of the cons are you probably don't want to do it forever. But with that being said, it is going to teach you skills that can lead to much better jobs. So yeah, I'm going to give this one a seven out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a remote audio data collector. This basically involves collecting and analyzing audio data to enhance voice enabled applications to improve what's known as NLP, which is natural language processing. And one company that's almost always hiring for this position is Dataforce by TransPerfect. And Dataforce is a worldwide data collection and labeling platform that combines technology with a diverse network of more than 1 million data contributors. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen for you. You can pause the video and check them out. Some of the pros are there's minimal equipment required and it's relatively easy to get a job. Some of the cons are the pay is relatively low and it's probably not something you want to do forever. So yeah, overall opportunity score that I'm going to give this one is a 7.5 out of 10. Next is going to be a sales agent job from the company United Health Group. So this is specifically a health related sales job. And these types of jobs tend to be a little more chill when it comes to the sales side, because it focuses more on actually finding really good solutions for people. And sales agents in general make about 66 to $119,000 a year. And to get started, you'd go to the United Health Group website, you'd go to their career page, and you'd check out their global opportunities. Note that there's also other openings in the website you can definitely check out. There's a lot of random little health care related careers out there that are pretty good. And then you would go ahead and apply. So some of the pros of this one are you have a very high earning potential in sales. This is also a really good way to get your foot in the healthcare industry. Some of the cons of this one are sales does require a lot of resilience and you have to be able to take rejection. So overall, I'm going to give this one an opportunity score of nine out of 10. By the way, I made a video where I talked about how you can work from home worldwide with these 11 companies. And this video went viral, got hundreds of thousands of views. People absolutely loved it. And you can check that video out by clicking right here.